All right, so what we've got here is the Procyon AVS audiovisual system or audiovisual synthesizer system. So for those of you who have seen my other uh, Mindplace video about the Casina, this is fairly similar, um, but I believe this one, the Procyon, is slightly cheaper. I might be wrong, I'll check, I'll confirm the prices when I put links in the description and everything like that. Now this is the Procyon AVS uh, the box here that so says what it's going to be doing, so achieving different states of uh, consciousness, tranquility, altered states of awareness, and uh, this sort of thing. So, and for those of you who are brand new to Mind Machines, by the way, um, this is actually a pretty good one to start with. This one, all the casino will work really well. Um, essentially what they are is like a device which enables you to listen to binaural beats on the one hand, and also have visual stimuli coming through something like these, and they've engineered it so that the binaural beats or the audio stimulation, the brainwave entrainment, will actually sync up to the um, visual stimula stimulation that you're getting from the frames. And what that does is that produces like an immersive effect which gives you an altered state of consciousness. Much more effective than just listening to binaural beats on their own. Um, and by these two working in synergy together, you get a really intense sort of different effect on your brainwave state and on your, uh, your state of consciousness, essentially. So this is the Procyon. All right, so this is the frames. And uh, as you can, let me just show you here. So as you can see, the frames themselves are, they look like normal sunglasses, uh, but what's happened is they've been blacked out. And so these little um, LED stimuluses, stimuli here have been glued on and these enable you to sync up to your device, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, and sync up to the sounds you're hearing as well. And then the sort of the brain in here that I'm going to show you in a second connects to this and talks to it and gets it to synchronize with what you're hearing through the headphones. All right. So there's a nice little carrying case here for traveling. And then this, this is the brain that I was telling you about. This is the Procyon brain. Straight off the bat, we've got the play function. I assume skip tracks and something else. I'm gonna find out exactly what these buttons do and what they all mean. Uh, we've got the mini USB, not micro. Headphone, aux cable, on and off button. Volume uh, for the headphones and then brightness for the glasses. That's really important because the glasses I find I could only start with like the lowest brightness possible uh, when I started using the Casina. And then you've got this little clip here which enables you to, uh, to I assume like stand it up like this. So you can stand it. And it okay so it's taking three double A batteries, three double A batteries. What I do with this sort of stuff is for my drones and stuff uh, that I fly I have rechargeable AA batteries so you know, doing something like this, uh, you just put the rechargeables in there when they run out, you charge them back up again. Nice and simple. But from my experience with the Casina, um, the batteries lasted a very long time. So it should be fine. So they've given us, with the Procyon, this is a track list. Lots of different presets to choose from. You can, I believe, upload your own. Although that might be a feature that's only available with the Casina or the more expensive Mind Machines, I'll have to check. From the looks of it, there's lots of different sessions here with quite long lengths, so you, you're getting quite a lot of value straight off the bat with this. This is like, a, there's a lot of meditation sessions. And for those of you who have never used a Mind Machine before, so the sessions, okay, these tracks are essentially like synchronized pieces of media that play not only through the headphones, okay, but also they synchronize up with the frames. So when you listen to a mind machine, it's actually not just a soundtrack, it's actually um, a really intelligent piece of media that's synchronized between the frames, which plays like colored LED lights in your eyes at certain frequencies, certain different lengths of time. And then you've got the, the headphones, which play binaural beats in synchronization with the frames and the lights. So it's quite a complicated piece of media to grasp, especially if you've never used a mind machine before. Um, but we're gonna get onto how it works. And, uh, if you're if you're like me and you have um, your own headphones that you'd prefer that, that you'd prefer to use, that's absolutely fine. They give you a, a set here, uh, which are just you know they're just basic stereo headphones. Uh, nothing incredibly special about the headphones themselves. They just give you them in case you didn't have a pair of stereo headphones. I would probably use my own. I've got noise cancelling ones which are more immersive, but this is still great value for like for the price of this thing. Okay, this is really good value in terms of like the things you actually get with it and what you can do. You've got the headphone wire for the headphones, of course. And then the instruction manual just sort of telling you a bit more about how it all works with diagrams and things like that. And it tells you like which tracks you should listen to for different effects. So you've got like ones for creativity, ones for like 
hallucination and all this sort of stuff like that tranquility meditation energy recharging accelerated learning like it's all in there uh, and it's all explained also in the track list here this is the cable to i assume to uh, connect it to a computer so you can like program it decide what tracks you want to include and if you want to modify them or anything like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this turned on i'm going to learn how it works and how to use it and then we're going to cut to me using it and showing you guys what it can do you immediately feel the effect of drops your state immediately and you start to deeply relax. Right, so first impressions of that are really good. I've used a casino. Um, I think it would be even better with my own headphones, which I'm gonna test later on. But that is incredible. Like the effect that you get from that in terms of, because so I've used loads of meditation tracks. I've done all sorts of meditation. I've used like binaural beats, isochronic tones, relaxation, ambient sounds, the lot. Um, I've never experienced meditation or like brainwave entrainment like I have when I've used a mind machine. I was as impressed when I used the Casina. This feels like a, a smaller version of the Casina. So for those of you who have seen my video about that, uh, the Casino, I'll link in the description to that as well, which is a great alternative by the same company, by the way, by uh, Mindplace. This feels like, uh, I feel like I could actually take this traveling or, you know, like when I go out and about, obviously not, <laughs> obviously not supposed to use this while you're walking around. But what I mean is I could take this traveling and when I get to the hotel room, I feel like I would actually use this you know, wherever I'm staying. The only thing, the only thing I don't like is the fact that you can't see on the screen, on the screen you can't see what track you are listening to. You just have to go by the numbers, which means you also need to carry this card around with you. Unless you have this on your phone, what I would suggest doing is just taking a picture of both sides of this on your phone, so that when you take this around with you, you know what track does what. Um, so as you can see. Okay, so as you can see here, as you can see here, it doesn't tell you which track you're listening to. You have to go by this card. Um, but if you just take a picture of this, we all have our phones with us all the time, don't we? So just taking a picture of this, it tells you the category, like learning, concentration, performance, tranquility, whatever. Energy, rejuvenation, night voyage, that's what I would suggest to use for dreaming and lucid dreaming purposes. And then mind art. I have no idea what mind art is. I assume that's like a trippy, hallucinogenic type thing. And that's... That's really it guys, this is, this is the main session list as you can see, this is the main Procyon session list. So in terms of like tips for using this, I have got a few and I'm going to be making lots more videos with this mind machine to show you how to use it and like some basic tips and tricks. Firstly, I believe you can program it using the micro USB, that is a big plus. Secondly, this stand is quite a useful addition because it means that you don't have to like leave it on the floor and you can just instantly like look up and see what is playing. The menu is quite difficult to navigate compared to the casino but once you've got your head around it it's going to be easy. Thirdly um, what I would say and this is a big one you'll notice here that you've got the brightness controls for the glasses. Really I would start on the as as low as you can possibly get this but still having let me let me show what I mean. I want to see if you guys can hear this. And what you'll notice here is that this is playing, okay, the track is playing, the glasses are flashing. Now, these flashing lights are not intended to go straight into your eyes. You need to close your eyes before you put the glasses on, especially if you're sensitive to bright lights or flashing lights. This, this has, the only effect this has is if you close your eyes. If you open your eyes, it's not going to do much. The idea is it's going to go through your eyelids and create like a pulsing frequency. That's really important, guys. Close your eyes before you put the glasses on. Make sure the brightness here, make sure the brightness here is set as low as you possibly can because it's going to blast you otherwise. Um, same with the volume, turn the volume all the way down and then build it up as you learn how to use it. The only thing that is getting a bit fiddly is obviously there's loads of wires because you've got the wires from the headphones and the wires from the glasses. It gets a bit fiddly but to be honest you're going to be sitting down when you're using this, it doesn't matter if it's fiddly. There are instructions explaining how to program your own sounds and your own interactions between the lights of the glasses and the headphones. So that's quite useful. It does confirm that you need to have your eyes closed to use the GAN frames. That is pretty much my review of the Procyon so far. This is my first look and the unboxing. I'm going to be making a video in about 
I'm going to be making a video in uh, about a week or so, uh, just explaining like a bit more about it, about how it works, and like what you can expect, how like some tips and tricks. For example, like the biggest one I could say right now is turn the, the brightness all the way down, put a towel over your head when you're doing it, and it creates a much more immersive, not, not only does the towel actually block out some of the ambient sound, it acts as like a soundproofing blanket, it will also block out the light, and that's really important. You need to have like an immersive experience with this thing. I found it's even better as well if you lay down. Uh, so just lay down flat on a comfortable bed or something and it's really gonna have like that immersive Transformative experience and like I have to say this really does work like in terms of brainwave entrainment There's nothing like this. There's nothing like a mind machine If you're completely new to mind machines and you've just watched this video and you don't even know what this is Or you know you weren't looking for a review of this I would advise you to check out the Procyon either this or the Casina mind machine links will be in the description I believe you can get a discount if you go through my links, which is quite cool and there is also a link in the description to a blog post I wrote about the Casina and the Procyon as well so there'll be like more detail and context there and like some more tips and tricks and things like that but for the most part yeah I would just suggest just go and try this out click on the links uh, have a look maybe read some of my blog articles about it re watch the video about the Casina um, and try and like make up your mind between them I would say if you're a beginner choose the Procyon because it's gonna be you literally just take it out of the box put the batteries in and press play uh, whereas with the casino, there's more f functionality, there's more like options and things you can change and all this sort of stuff. Really, I would just suggest give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you've used the Mind Machine before, leave a comment letting me know what you think of it. But for me, like Mind Machines, there's no other, there's no better option in terms of like brainwave entrainment and experiencing altered states of consciousness. This is really cool. So leave a like, leave a uh, comment in the description, in the comments section even, and I'll see you next time.